I think the fact that Women to Women has met its $3 million goal this year is an indication of the commitment of women in the Greensboro community to the concerns of other women. We are celebrating a milestone, but we have greater goals that we are hoping that all of you here will help us reach. Eventually, we would like to increase our endowment funds to $10 million. At the $3 million endowment level, we will turn out approximately $120,000 each year in grant money. With this money, we can make substantial differences in this community. Now, if we can triple that amount and reach a $10 million goal, just imagine what we would be able to do. The 2012 Status of Women Report was completed this year. It's the first time since 1996 that we've done a report on the status of women in the state. The idea was that we wanted to know how women were doing in the five primary metropolitan areas. We took a look at major cities, but also all 100 counties. Women to Women made a commitment to help us get additional information about the Greensboro area and what is the status of Greensboro. So we were able to really dig deeper into communication and understanding about where women are in the Greensboro area. And we will be able to pull out the information that applies strictly to Greensboro, Guilford County, and it will give us a tremendous amount of information for us to be able to know exactly where our grant money should go. I thank you so much for helping us and making us a better organization. Without the Women's to Women's grant, the $25,000 that the Reed D.D. Jackson Foundation received, we would not be open today. We are able to go out and do more in the community, do more in our center with our Women Empowerment Program, do more with our education. We bring in professional people to come in and actually educate these people. Families who didn't know what to do about their family members. Now they have a way to come, get educated, and be productive. Thanks so much. The New Choices Program is a job training, a job readiness program for displaced homemakers. A lot of times women will come in and say, I've never worked. You know, I've been a homemaker, I've never had a job. Well, A, we consider that the most important job of all. And B, we help them transfer home skills that they don't realize that they have that are marketable skills. If you are hired as a nanny to take care of someone else's children, you consider yourself employed. Yet oftentimes if we're at home taking care of our own kids, we will tell people we don't have a job, we don't work. And yet we do. So we help them take those volunteer skills, the skills they've learned at home in their churches and their schools volunteering, their fundraising skills, and put it in a resume format. Through this New Choices program, a lot of them, now that we've all graduated, we all feel that this program has equipped us to be able to have that dream, to be able to manage that family, to be able to wear our skirt and a suit and be in corporate America, or be able to just be able to be owners of our own businesses and be able to really find our own destiny about what we want to do. I just wish there was a way that I could cheer more and just get more women to come to the Women's Resource Center and find out more about it and to actually join the program. Thank you, Women to Women, for supporting the Women's Resource Center's New Choices program. Our goal at Family Service of the Piedmont is to build safe and healthy families. Over the years, the agency has turned into a multi-service family umbrella for building safe and healthy families. Our program here at Family Services of Piedmont for the Women to Women grant that we got is called SOAR and that uh, stands for Support Outcomes and Recovery. What we're looking at is a program that supports women who need treatment, whether it be for mental health, substance abuse, medical, whatever it might be. And as we provide these services, our hope 
is that women will achieve a higher level of functioning, do better in life, uh, be able to take care of their children so that the outcomes for their children are even better because their lives have improved. You know, it's, it's wonderful seeing that immediate connection and I feel that the client is in really protective hands and is getting a sense that this is a team for me. We want to make sure that whoever walks through the door, there's no wrong door. And when they come in here, they know the Family Service of the Piedmont is going to give them services. And, and we do, and quite frankly, a lot of the people who walk through the door are women with children. And that's, that's important to us to make sure that we can provide that treatment. So this grant will allow us to provide the type of treatment to allow for better success for women. Thank you, Women to Women, for helping support this SOAR program. The power of women to do for other women is phenomenal. I think it's changing the world. I love coming to events like, that, like this and seeing the power of women in a community to make a decision that they're going to go out and raise the money, provide the resources to help groups that support women, women and families, women and children, uh, because I think that's a really important way to not only improve the lives of the women, but entire communities. Um, and I think the turnout at this event is spectacular. It's a real tribute to the philanthropic nature of Greensboro, but also to the energy of the women who started it and to the women who've joined the effort. Um, and I think it's a huge success. It's very exciting to be here. Women need to support women, and we can all do that by making a gift today.